Hello YouTube, friends, subscribers, JW Solar USA. This is the Battery Extra. Today's part 4. Battery Extra EX02 1248 And uh, you guys been following me. And uh, thank you guys for that. And uh, I was telling you guys how I'm rebuilding my batteries. My two AGM batteries that I have for over three and a half, four years ago. My first batteries so today is look at the voltage sitting right there and everything seems to run pretty much good you know all right folks i'll bring you to the battery bank it's a tie 2 55 amp hour batteries in series to give you a 24 volt at 55 amp hours all right folks i'll show you what these batteries are doing right now how they're performing and how the battery extra has already helped them to rejuvenate and rebuild and desulfate the batteries here. Believe it or not, folks, you know, it's your choice. You can believe it or not, but it's working. All right? As you guys can see right here, these are the two batteries um, wired in series. See that big red wire goes from one terminal to the other one, that positive to negative. And I have two negative lead. Uh, positive and negative leads on the side here that takes out for the load to the inverter all right um you guys uh this is a awesome project and this is a journey that uh we've been uh, up to well coming back to the skeptics because the skeptics are still not just believing how this stuff is working and I don't have time to argue with anyone for whatever they believe or not because the truth is right here whatever you believe was fine whatever works for you is fine whatever doesn't work for you uh well it's on you but you know anything that works for you folks just use it if it doesn't work, well, it doesn't work. If it works, it works. Everybody's lucky uh, for doing whatever they're doing, for whatever they like. As of now, the system is powering right now this 24-volt Cotec. As you guys been following my videos, you'll see the Cotec right here. Awesome machine, believe it or not. This machine will take from 21.0 volt to 30 volt. DC and it gives back um, 1500 watt 24 volts at 3000 watt peak or surge very efficient this one goes about 90 92 percent something like that efficiency if I'm wrong I don't I'm not too uh, whatever but uh, that's it and I'm powering here this PC there you go folks that's the PC right here I'm just pulling up um, my videos on YouTube right now, showing you guys. And uh, there's a PC right here. It's a Dell. And uh, I have my Wi-Fi um, communication. It's a Asus. And if you guys never dealt with the Asus before, I recommend this big time. This one can go up to about the two, uh, two point four um gigahertz frequency and you can go the five megahertz five gigahertz frequency sorry so um you can able to utilize this device it's really cool for your wireless my house is wireless and folks you guys can see that's the pc right here it's built in with a speaker powered, you know, right here. You can see the LED and um, it's pulling power and the batteries are still staying strong, folks. So this is the channel, my channel here on YouTube. I just pull up and um, this device is working perfectly. So it's just a quick update and you guys can see. The Kotec is not even running. The fans are not even coughing. It's running. It's taking this um, stuff, you know, step by step. And uh, it's giving it the juice or the power that 
um, that computer really wants for the operation okay but uh, the battery extra so far so good is working perfectly is working and sometimes what I do I took it off from the charger and this device still plugged in but it's still um, uh, giving some pulse pulse in the battery so that um, you keep giving it all the, the good stuff, whatever. It's all fit in it. When I put the charger, it can stay up to about three, four days before I can see the voltage um, probably dropping a little bit to 26.2.1, um, but um, everything is running perfectly. So I put the charger back just to get it. And you guys can see the pin right here dropped all the way the needle dropped all the way to zero the um so i think the sufficient is getting out of the battery okay that's a 24 volt charger i'm using just a regular regular charger not any fancy charger to um break all the whatever is going on with that battery back into the battery extra you can see whatever the voltage is 26.1 and the batteries are going strong. Remember, this battery, if you can put them together, uh, two of them in parallel, that will be a 12 volt at 110 amp hour. But since the inverter I'm going to use is a 24 volt, and the charger I have here is a 24 volt, that's why I decided to go a 24 volt configuration. So, at least if the battery went down, I can able to keep on charging them again and uh get them to um the uh the charging state that is supposed to be just to keep on uh re desulfating the battery and rejuvenate the battery i was gonna use this guy right here is the samlex you guys can see on my other videos uh, my portable solar system survival solar system these are 350 watt this one can still run that computer but i don't want to go through 12 volt and this uh, doesn't have, I don't think it has um, uh, a fan uh, temper uh, uh, fan temperature control that's supposed to give it like it comes on when the, uh, the, the power is needed or when the, 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 the device is kind of warm, then it turns on to cool the system. It runs constantly. For some reason, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it still works like that without... Uh, I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to open it. It's a small, small device. The fan can't even take that much. You know, if I want, I can put something just to regulate that, not the fan, not to run constantly. That's what I was hoping for. That's what I uh, was looking at. And um, they sent me the wrong one. And I don't want to return that. It's just um, a cheap one. And it's a Samlex. But I decided to keep it because I don't want to, Trying to be a drama king about something, whatever, you know, crying out loud for a little device. So I just let it sit. So that's what I'm using. I'm going to be using for survival kit um, thing with something emergency. I can able to run little things there, run a little refrigerator. Like you guys can go back and watch those videos. Survival, uh, portable survival kit. And here is the cool tech sitting here do nothing. No, 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 no fans running. That's why I like this device. And this device is really, 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 really cool. And so far, so good, folks. The computer is still running, as you guys can see. And I'm not tapping to my main uh, battery bank or whatever setup here. This is just for demonstration purposes. I can able to put this um, water dispenser right here, the Primo. And this guy can still rock with this uh, inverter, but that time you can hear the fan is gonna kick in because it's a. Uh, I programmed that to go up to only a twenty, um, about hundred watt or something more than that, something like that. If I forgot what the program was, but um, folks, and uh, it's still holding that programming, and it's working. So this is all I have to share with you guys today, and um, I recommend this battery extra. If you think it's not a good deal, well, that's your opinion. But for me, 
It's not an opinion. It's a fact. Because I've tried it. I've made videos of it. And um, if you want to deny it, you have all the right to deny. If you want to argue with it, you have all the right to argue with. Because, you know, that's your opinion, like I said, but it works for me. And other people who already bought this device because of uh, um, the reviews that some of us and others and whosoever the uh, company or whosoever has already used this or believe on whatever the reviews or following people's video, they tend to believe whatever and they um, end up buying the device and now it's working for them. You can check them out on YouTube. You can check my videos. And uh, um, just for the skeptics, they can believe whatever they want to believe. They can disagree with whatever they want to disagree. They can argue with anything they want to argue because that's what they want to do. And um, I don't have time for that. All I am doing here is, a, is a, a prove things that work. If this device doesn't work, trust me, folks, I'll let you know right away. I'll tell you because I'm not going to hide it. You know, things that doesn't work for me, I'm not going to keep it, trying to sugarcoat that to make it look fancy, to look, make it look um, nice and sexy. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't fit my, 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 my needs. I'll take it off my board or I will probably um, uh, discard that and find a home for it. Someone who needs that. It doesn't fit my comfort. Doesn't mean it doesn't work for me. It doesn't just fit my comfort or whatever i don't i don't dig into it so it works it works this thing can't even handle can't even hold a uh, charge for that long i was only using these batteries for my uh lighting system but folks on 12 volt this guy is still holding look at that still sitting at 26.1 still sitting there so i'm telling you it works so far, so good. I'm the one who was dealing with the batteries. I know the condition. I know how these batteries were. And uh, seeing them into this level, I appreciate that. I'm thankful. I'm happy. And I'm um, happy because I have to come across a device like that. And I'm happy uh, God gave me the knowledge to able to, to test it. And God gave me the opportunity, the money, for me to afford it and um, I thank the uh, manufacturer that made this device as long as it works for me and uh, my batteries are back to life again thank you so much if you're watching this video if you didn't watch this if you're not watching this video but someone knows the manufacturer or whatever have a good link share with them that there's a guy that you know is really thankful about this device and thank you I'm happy because I don't have to throw these batteries away you know, it's a learning process, it's a, it's a, a challenge, you know, things don't just work the way you want them sometimes, you gotta be patient with it, it's just like life, you have to be patient with each other, so I'm patient, and, uh, and to prove it, if it wasn't working, I'll tell you right away, that don't waste your time, or if you want to waste your time, go ahead, but for me, it doesn't work for me, but it, it did work for me. So that's why I want to share this video with you guys. Whosoever want to um, argue or fight about it, they can go ahead and fight the manufacturer, not me, because I'm just um, a customer and I bought this for me to, to deal with my issues, my problem I have. And if it tends to work for me, there's no right for you to be skeptical or to be... Um, um, will be uh, aggressive towards me because I'm telling that this device worked for me. And these are the batteries. You know, even if I cheap with batteries, I don't care because they work. They've been doing the job for me for, for many years. And if I can even to bring them, give them life again, I'm thankful. And I want to thank God for that. And I'm a very thankful person. And look, folks, skeptics and denial, then you can see it's still sitting there. The, the voltage is not going anywhere. 
and this device is still doing its thing right now as I speak and I, you can feel just uh, warm to the touch and the computer is still running anyway so <laughs> this is the thing you can see it see that yeah so this is the computer this is no um my regular computer is just a computer I mess with if I want to do something quick and research. I have my main computer and I can show you some of the uh, the other monitor I have is an Asus too. See that? Asus as well. Sorry it's kind of dusty but well, that's how it is. That's part of uh, very close to the command center. So this is how everything works and and mind you guys this uh, keyboard is not set up like the, the US um setup this is a keyboard that is made for i think it's for britain you know european keyboard so it's kind of different weird they just the weird in the way that the way they set it up is not for the u.s standard it's not like uh it's weird technology but uh that that's that's what that's what i meant no offense all right okay well take care guys and this i'm gonna wrap up the video Believe it or not, this device is working. It's working, it's working, it's working, and I'm liking it. I love it. And I am no regret. I'm, I, I, I didn't regret getting this um, device at all. This is what you want to do. Sometimes you got to prove things. Some people say, I don't have the money to go try some junky things that doesn't work. What kind of risk? No. If you have the money to take the risk, go ahead. Well, that's why we are here testing for you guys. People that don't, don't believe or people who think that is skeptical about things, then this is, we take the risk for you. JW Solar USA, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Bye. God bless.